Welcome back to another Seven Days to Die. As you recall, in our last video, we fought the Horde and uh, we have put everything up except for those wood frames. Uh, we're going to stick them up here for now. And today, we're going to go hit some more military locations on the map. We're basically going to head over here to our town. Ah, oh, got to get repairs. Got deer outside and we can't even shoot them. Forgot to repair. So we'll run down here and real quick all right now we're ready saw two of them out here yeah there we go we don't really need the meat but we're gonna take it anyway we'll throw it in our uh, boxes real quick and then we will head to the town and do some looting didn't get a lot from the horde uh, at least not the items we really want which uh, as time goes on and we get the radiated uh, zombies and things like that we'll start really getting some good gear uh, sniper rifles ammo things like that but we did get a lot of shotgun parts which is going to be nice Considering that we uh, will put together um, our shotgun turrets. I don't remember what all is here. I know there's a m military buildings, which is what we're really after. Such as this one here and this barracks. I can't remember if... Uh, I'll we'll definitely take those and we'll go ahead and start scrapping the brass. We'll see if this is respawned the loot. I'm not sure if it has or hasn't, but we're going to check it out. I'm worried that it has not. No, it has not. That's great. All right, so we're going to have to loot some other things today then. Ahead and scrap that. We'll scrap that. Definitely kill some more zombies. Go ahead and 
scrap that. Saw us right before uh, we could hit him. Definitely want to keep scrapping that kind of metal. We're going to need it for our spikes and stuff. I doubt very seriously. Yep. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go try to find this working stiff tools and see what else we can loot in this town. I guess it's going to be day 23 that we actually can loot. Might hit up these fat trees, things like that. Just kind of wasting time. Main thing we want to do is uh, we might come hit these houses too. Uh, I don't know if this working stiff is going to already be respawned, but we're going to check it out and see. All right. Let's look in here real quick, see if stuff is respawned. I don't care about the old cash. Looks like it has. Let's scrap that. Let's scrap that. Let's scrap that. Uh, there's no zombies in here, but hey, whatever. We'll take it. We'll scrap. Nice, we'll always take a soldier. And we'll always take a military helmet. That's just going to let us upgrade our helmet. Definitely take another tool and die set. I hear them. I don't know if they're upstairs or what. There he is. Ooh, a feral. Look at that. Buddy, uh, let's go ahead and take that. All right, scrap. No, nope, still full. Uh, not worried about feathers right now. All right, so if that's looted, then that means we can loot the 
Shotgun Messiah over here. Don't care about the cloth. We can always get cloth. Probably should drink a beer. Tell you what, we're gonna heal up and we're gonna drink a beer. Let's see, scrap that. We'll scrap that. That's a little odd, but let's see what else we can scrap. I know we can scrap that. We can scrap that. Come on, buddy, come down here. Definitely take the Magnum. All right. Thing we've checked out this cracker book in a while so we'll check it out even though there's really not anything we need in here I hear him somewhere I don't want him to jump on me let's see So, when you get those kind of quests, basically it's looking for like quest items. Like, uh, that particular one wants a carton of cigarettes. I don't care about the old cash. I hear them outside, so. They may respawn now that I went out there, but I don't care. I guess we haven't ever been in here.
And if you're not tracking, when I play with Val Mod, what this does is it allows me to scrap books and stuff for survivor notes. Now all of a sudden I'm hot. It's a cheap way of getting a lot of skills fast in the game. Uh, it's not necessary, but. Whoa, guy. Okay. Definitely always take a soldier. I don't need it, but. How many do we have? We got 81. That sucks. Definitely take some ammo. Come on, guy. All right. So let's drink that. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 scrap that, anything else, don't need feathers, don't need bottled water. Sure, I check these.
All right, so we should be done here. Yeah. Let's see, grocery. All right, so I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna check this gas station out, get our fuel from here. Oh, it looks like we already got our fuel from here. All right. I'll tell you what, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna get this supply drop and then we're gonna hit uh, that factory. make room okay well we'll put those in there that 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 I'll hold on to those hold on to those go ahead and stick our duke tokens in there if we have to we'll throw those wood frames away all right don't need that. Uh, it's mini bike tires. Oh. Put those in here. All right. Lot of gas in here or gas cans. Hmm, chainsaw parts. Too bad it wasn't auger parts. Take that. Don't care about it.
thought there was a upstairs somewhere here. Huh. There it is. Now, if you got room, what you can do is save those parts and put them together. And then sell the whole weapon uh, once you assemble it. And generally, you'll get quite a bit of cash doing it that way. Looks like this is done. So moving along. flashlights in there we'll hold on to the rest of this let's see what else we can loot in this town might go check out some of these houses it is 12 o'clock Oh, look at that. I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to go get this air supply drop. That's good timing right there. You know what? It looks like it's going to be a little distance away. This time we hit the trader, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. All right, so... I really wanted to hit military targets. I'm trying to just constantly find parts for my sniper rifle. I want to get it upgraded as high as possible. And also with Valmod, I'm able to make it a silent sniper rifle. So anything with a silencer and things like that, I want, I want to be able to upgrade to 600. We're not going to run the video too long. I'll probably do a little bit more looting, then we'll quit recording. And I'll pretty much go put the stuff we got on us back up, and then uh, probably do some base 
defense, things like that. Alright. So a minute ago we were in the desert and it was 120 degrees. Now we're in the desert and it's 60 degrees. Pretty much all within the same time span. Ah, here's something that we can check out right here. I know this place has a gun safe. So I'm going to run over here. And I'm going to kill this zombie. And I'm going to kill this one. I don't know why I scrapped that. Whatever. Uh, this house might have a basement with a gun safe. So let's check it out real quick. D definitely know our game progression is improving when you're getting military guys in houses. Whoa, was not expecting that. No. <laughs> all right, we pissed them all off when we start firing off around. You definitely need to kill those guys before they explode. Obviously, you can see. Anybody else? Jesus. Let's drink a beer. Yep, we got another one. Come on, guy. Alright, ferals are no joke. That's for sure. So, yeah, we do have it set for a uh, walk during the day. But ferals are going to run. Oh, my gosh, another one. Goodness. <laughs> well, and this house doesn't even have what I wanted it to have. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> what a mess. Now I'm cold? Are you kidding me?
Now, some of you, this would be a great place to uh, start a base. It's got a nice bunker. See if we can get any food out here to eat on. It's also got um, usually concrete mitzer or something like that that you could uh, utilize as well as it's got gun safe. You can utilize a lot of the stuff as storage if you do decide to make this a base. And then you can kind of upgrade as you want. This is the room that we want. So this time it doesn't have a concrete mitt, sir. It doesn't look like. Usually there's one in here. Hold up. I want that energy drink. Tell you what, we are going to hold on to that in case we decided to build a shotgun. That's just uh, some rooms. Really, probably ain't got nothing in it. I know I miss a lot of stuff when I'm looting. That's because I just there's only certain things I'm looking for. All right, so let's head this way. Let's see what else we can find around this town. We know we've hit the fire department. I really probably should start hitting residential areas, but I'd like to have a post office too. Let's see what we got over here. It's like a bar. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in. Uh, we're going to go in this bar here. We're going to the gentleman's club. A lot of times they have beer in here, so we always want beer. Looks like a landmine right there. Nothing better than having your girl dancing up on stage around the landmine. Makes sense to me. We don't want coffee. We want beer. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and drink one of those. Top us off. It's also a good place to come if you want to get some um, leather and stuff. You can take these couches apart. Ah. We'll hold on to it. We will throw that apple cider away though. Hold on to the energy drink. I think they have a science station. Yeah, chem lab. I guess that's where they can make their meth. All right, 
right, so now we got to scrap some cloth so we can use the, this two aloe vera to make some more um, Good old meth lab in the strip bar. That's, that is definitely appropriate. All right. So that looks like that's about it for this. All right, mini bikes right there. Let's see what else is around here. nice if we could find a courthouse or something like that that has gun safes in it basically that's all I want I want gun safes I want as many gun safes as we can get now I know some of these houses are gonna have them and all that I believe we've already hit that fire station and it probably has not respawned yet we're going to head over there to that uh, church, definitely. A lot of times in coffins, you can get a lot of ammo and things like that. We'll run in here just to see if it's respawned. No, it has not. That's all right. We weren't expecting it to respawn just yet. And I know there's a lot of houses that have uh, gun safes as well, usually upstairs or in the um, Alright, let's go in here and see what we can find Go ahead and scrap that This is the room that we care about right here. Let's go ahead and scrap those. What? But like I said, a lot of times in these coffins, you're going to find a lot of ammo, things like that. Uh, Dute tokens. You know what we should do? Let's read this. We might go find a treasure map later. About all we wanted out of there check those coffins out let's see what this treasure map is all right so it's on the way to the trader all right
right, I think we're gonna pretty much head on back. Uh, probably do some stuff around the base, make our repairs, and then uh, work in our garden, make some more bowls of fruit, things like that. Then I think what tomorrow what we'll do is we'll actually go treasure hunting. Uh, see what we can get. We'll head to the trader. Wow, I like the setup of these towns. I wish they had a shotgun messiah. That would be very interesting if it had a shotgun messiah. But we do have a working stiff tools and then a small one and we got you know two missile silos a couple of barracks and a couple of army camps so but yeah that's pretty much going to do it we're going to work on our base it's going to be pretty boring we're going to make repairs uh, we'll probably make some more traps we're going to probably uh get ready to start making some um uh spotlights to put up top give us a little bit of visibility at night uh, I'm thinking about putting these traps I'm almost tempted to run a bar across the middle here and putting traps uh, those uh, blades on those I really don't know it's hard to decide but either way we're going to make repairs. We're going to put out some more spikes. Uh, we'll eventually make some over the course of the week. we got to keep gathering this iron. Uh, it takes a lot of it to make them and a lot to repair. Uh, we're also need to start digging out more trenches around this way to extend out these little trenches here so that when they come running in, it's going to slow them down uh, quite a bit. And we can really get some headshots before they get actually up on the spikes. And the only reason why I like doing that is because once they start dying, it, if they die on top of each other, the one on top will explode and disappear, and you kind of miss out on the loot. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Y'all take care now.